is a good screener for underlying vision problems. Basically, if we look at the nation now, and we look at how children get to care, we can see that they pretty much don't get to care. That the focus is going to be on the human factors, the comfort and the safety in the use of 3D. What can we do to uh, uh, test individual eyes to determine if that person, that person sitting in the exam chair, is at risk for the types of symptoms that are being experienced? because they were told that their child passed the vision screening test. 80% of learning is related to vision. First, we have a lack of education. We have people that don't understand what 3D is. They don't understand that reality is 3D as well. Once we start to address the concerns that people have, the issues we might have around 3D, all of a sudden now, we're moving forward. People with learning disabilities, uh, they're, they're quote unquote labeled earlier in life. Uh, a lot of the people who are juvenile delinquents, unfortunately we have a detention center that uh, brings patients over week to week and guess what? They have undiagnosed vision problems. Not all the time, but a high, high, high proportion than what we see in day-to-day in -day practice life. As representing right now, what you could think of as a perfect storm. A confluence of science, technology, uh, invention, application, uh, new ways of seeing the world, new ways of looking at the world, and market opportunities. 3D and stereoscopy and stereogrammetry and stereography have been quietly uh, revolutionizing science, technology, industry, medicine, education, and a number of other areas. There really is no limit to what 3D as a tool can offer science and technology. The essence of the message is that we have come together to empower the American people with new information about the importance of eye health and the importance of comprehensive eye exams.